Once the Prophet had borrowed some money from a Jew by the name of Zaid ibn Sana. Before the date fixed for the repayment of the debt, the Jew came up to the Prophet to demand his money back. He went to the Prophet, caught hold of his clothes and said in a very harsh manner, Muhammad, why don't you pay me my due? Then he remarked, the descendants of your grandfather always put off paying their debts. The Prophet's companion, Umar ibn al-Khattab, was present with the Prophet at the time of this incident. He became extremely angry at this behavior of the Jew. He scolded him and was on the point of beating him up. But the Prophet maintained his composure throughout. All he said to the Jew was, there are still three days remaining for me to fulfill my promise. Then he turned to Umar and said, Umar, Zaid and I deserved better treatment from you. You should have told me to be better at paying back my debts and you should have told him to be better at demanding them. This incident tells us that the Prophet could maintain his forbearance and humility when provoked even when he was established as a head of state in Medina. The lesson that we draw from this incident is that there are two levels of character. One is the ordinary level and the other is the superior level. The ordinary character is based on the principle, do as others do to you. A person with such a character breaks with those who break with him. He harms those who harm him and he wrongs those who wrong him. But the superior level of character is based on the principle, do as you would expect others to do with you. A person with such a character behaves in the same principled manner with both friend and foe, irrespective of how he has been treated. People with such a character are reconciliatory, joining with those who break with them. They're compassionate even to those who seek to harm them, and they're forbearing even to those who wrong them. The above incident of the Prophet also tells us that the Prophet always aimed at inculcating positive values in his companions. The Scottish historian H.A.R. Gibb has remarked that it would be a serious mistake to imagine that all of Muhammad's interest and attention was given up to politics and war, especially in his years in Medina. On the contrary, the center of all his preoccupations was the training, educating and disciplining of his community.